Hey everybody. So today we will talk about how to um, establish boundaries and expectations with your clients as far as your schedule, um, as far as your um, payment, as far as all kind of boundaries. Um, work outside of your hours of availability time, just everything. How do you set up healthy boundaries and expectations with your clients as, as far as what you will, what kind of work you will provide, what you will do for them, um, what kind of work you don't want to do. Um, it's your business, so you, it's, you can have tasks that you just rather not do. Um, so how would you set that up? In my opinion, it is through a welcome letter and through your contract. So with my clients, I send them a welcome letter and it has my hours of availability, it has how I can be contacted, it has um, how long it will take me to reply back to um, to certain things like emails, um, to as far as projects, um, as far as holidays, um, um, as far as um, just all the kind of things that you can think of um, to tasks that are set sent to me outside of my um, my hours of availability. So I definitely suggest having a welcome letter that includes all of that information. Um, the best email to be used to contact you, everything. So that way they have it and they can refer back to it when they have questions. Um, maybe it's a holiday and they're working, but maybe you don't work that holiday so they can refer back to it. And then also in your contract, you can have your, um, what date your payments will be, um, due on. So if you say that the first payment is due this date, then it will be due on every Friday thereafter, or when you run out of hours or we we'll discuss when it's renewed. Um, that way they'll have, um, a kind of due date in mind as far as when the payments, um, should be received. So I think having all those things in writing is kind of the best way to set up those boundaries. They have a guide, they have your information, they have something to refer back to, and then even if they try to press your boundaries, you can kind of send that off to them again and say, okay, you know, I did this for you this time, but I'm not usually available during the, these hours. Or, um, you know, our, our expectations were me to work on this, that, and the third and so um, I did complete this task for you but that's not something I really um, work on and so that's how you will set up those healthy boundaries just have it all in writing and stick to it um, don't always do it if you don't want to do it that's um, how you gain your respect with your clients so um, that's how we will set up healthy boundaries and your expectations. Um, just put it all in writing and have it somewhere that the client can refer back to and somewhere where you can refer to the client to. You can send them an email again. And so this was episode three of Nika Said. And I hope you guys are having a great day. If you have any kind of questions, leave them below. And I will see you tomorrow.